hello friends so welcome back again so i am discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for csc stream students okay we are discussing the model fourth so far we have discussed the two problems uh, from the uh, model question paper two and uh, we have discussed question number seven a and question number eight a okay so today i will discuss question number seven b uh, the heights of a random sample of 50 colleges students showed a mean of uh, 174.5 centimeters and a standard deviation of 6.9 centimeters right construct a 99 percent confidence interval for the mean height of all college students okay so i have earlier told you in previous lectures this module is very simpler one just remember the formula and put down the values okay so the heights of a uh, 50 college students uh, showed a mean of 174 so first of all write down the given data okay solution given data what is the given data uh, that is mean of 174.5 but uh, here are two means we have to calculate also the uh, confidence interval for the mean height of all college students so whatever the mean is given you should represent it as x bar is equal to 174.5 5 okay and sample size is 50 college students that is n is equal to 50 right and the standard deviation is uh, 6.9 centimeters so sigma is equal to 6.9 centimeter right so what is the formula you should uh, remember over here that is uh, for 99 percent for 99 percent confidence interval that is ci mean is given m is equal to x bar plus minus z times sigma upon root and this is the formula okay so i have to put down the values accordingly first of all you should know that this is the standard value we know that confidence level confidence level of 99 percent the corresponding the corresponding z value okay z value is 2.576 this is the standard value of z at the 99 percent significance level so i can write down here so mu is equal to x bar what is the value of x bar 174 174.5 plus minus what is the z value this is the standard which can be calculated from the normal distribution table that is 2.576 so 2.576 multiplied by sigma sigma is given 6.9 divided by this n sample size that is your 50 right so now let me calculate this one first of all i will calculate this term so mu is equal to 2.576 multiplied by 6.9 divided by root of 50 okay which is equal to 2.51 so 174.5 plus minus 2.5136 this is the value okay now uh, first of all you should take uh, 174.5 minus 2.5136 that is called the lower end of the uh, confidence interval so i can write right here the lower end of confidence interval is that is your 174 mu is equal to 174.5 minus 2.5136 which is equal to so let me calculate this one 174.5 minus 2.5136 which is equal to 171 so 171.98 okay i hope you are following then the upper end of the interval the upper end upper end of the confidence interval is that is your mu is equal to 174.5 plus value okay plus 2.5136 which is equal to so 174.5 plus 2.5136 which is equal to 177 177.0136 okay so conclusion i can write so therefore with 99 percent confidence interval the mean height what we were supposed to calculate in this question so the mean height of all the college students all the college students okay is between is between these two values that is 171.98 so it was in the centimeters so i can write down here one 
171.98 सेंटीमीटर एंड 177.0136 ओके सेंटीमीटर्स बट मैथ इज डूइंग इनजस्टिस टू मी डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम ओनली हैविंग द 169 सेंटीमीटर हाइट सो दीस आर हर्टिंग द सेंटीमेंट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर हैविंग हाइट्स लेस देन द 170 सेंटीमीटर ओके सो this a little this is a small joke over here so this is all about today's problem my dear friends i hope this is clear to you people only thing is you should uh, you should remember the formula that is uh, your mu is equal to x bar plus minus z uh, the, uh, z times sigma upon under root upon n okay which is called as standard error okay so and uh, the confidence level of 99% uh, the corresponding value of z you should remember that is 2.576 so in the next problem we will discuss uh, the confidence level of 95% okay so for that the z value is different okay so this is all about today's problem thank you